The Simple Path to God, Discovering the Way Back to Authentic Faith. Father Spiridon Bailey is a priest of the Diocese of Great Britain in Western Europe of the Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia, serving in England and Ireland. On this video podcast, he applies the teaching of the Church Fathers to modern life with reference to the Sunday Gospels. Here now is Father Spiridon. Will we be amongst those who are saved? Will I, will you, be numbered amongst those who are saved? We must ask ourselves this question, what is it I must do to be saved? Amongst the great crowds of people that heard Jesus speaking, there were some who heard and were saved, and some who heard and did not find salvation. Amongst that crowd there were great sinners, there were righteous people, not righteous in the sense of being sinless, only Christ is sinless. But there were great sinners and righteous people. And amongst the two groups, those who were saved and those who did not find salvation, similarly there were righteous and great sinners amongst both groups. The degree to which we have sinned is not the deciding factor in whether we will find salvation. Metropolitan Anthony Grabowski says to us, there were amongst that crowd some who tried to justify themselves, justify their sin and their lives to themselves, to other people, but most importantly before God. And there were others who accused themselves, accused themselves of being sinners, recognized their own faults, their need for forgiveness. And it is this latter group, Metropolitan Anthony says, who found salvation. Unless we accuse ourselves of our sin, we will not find salvation. In the lives of the saints, we find examples of self-accusation, but also of saints who lived in a perpetual state, a perpetual state of self-accusation. They, they stream tears down their cheeks in remorse and repentance over their sins. We must find a moment every day to accuse ourselves before God, accuse ourselves that at judgment we are not accused. Unless we accuse ourselves of our sin, we will not repent. Self-accusation must be the springboard from which we go on to active repentance, to turn our lives around, to change the way we're living. There is a wonderful example in the life of St. Tikhon of Zadonsk, a man who was arguing with him about the Christian faith. When he was losing the argument, lashed out and struck St. Tikhon in the face. And St. Tikhon, his response was to fall to his knees, fall to, to his knees before the man and ask for forgiveness. He said to him, forgive me, forgive me for not teaching you that it is a sin to hit a bishop of the church. This was his immediate response, not to accuse the other, but to accuse himself. This self-accusation can bring healing to our relationships, in our work relationships, our families, in our marriages. We are too often, too quick to judge and condemn the other. And we do so only because we do not see and hold before ourselves our own sins. We do not accuse ourselves of the sins that we have committed. We must hold on to the truth that so long as we accuse ourselves, as long as we try to repent of these sins that we see within ourselves, so long as we self-accuse, we will not be accused on judgment. The Simple Path to God, discovering the way back to authentic faith. Father Spiridon Bailey is the author of several books, including Orthodoxy and the Kingdom of Satan and Journey to Mount Athos. You can email Father Spiridon at simplepath at ancientfaith.com. That's simplepath at ancientfaith.com. This has been a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.